Hey guys, welcome to this week's uh, men's devotional Bible study. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm working through this discipleship booklet. Uh, this is chapter four this week. I think I, I don't actually have the book in front of me. I set it down. I've struggled with this one and, and not because it's difficult, but because it's rather simple, <laughs> right? The, the title, the purpose of the chapter is about Bible study and why we should do it and methods we can use. And it even lays out like a plan and well-reasoned and, and you know, what you're looking for. It's great. It's fantastic. It's very academic. Um, and yet I'm, I sit here and I struggle with, how do I how to make a video about this? There's not some crazy thing uh, to dissect. There's nothing truly like, where do I bring this from? Right? Like, where do, where do I talk through? Because it is, honestly, it's, it's just simple, right? Study scripture, get to know the Lord. Um, they, they, they included, they, the author, includes this reference to Psalm 119 and says stuff like it's the longest Psalm in scripture. Uh, I think I looked quick. It's something like 146 verses. It's, it's long, it's lengthy, but the first 16 verses talk about the reasons why you should study scripture and, and what it means, what it, what it looks like, especially for the old Testament, uh, time frame, Right. And verse 11 really kind of kicked out at me about, uh, right. I will, I will, I, I'm going to paraphrase it cause I can't remember what it says. And I didn't, I, I can't, I don't even have my Bible with me. It's downstairs. I am literally trying to go to bed and I'm exhausted. And I haven't thought much about this. Anyway, paraphrase, uh, Psalm 119 verse 11, you know, the author says, goes and says, I, I will, I will write your law on my heart so that I might not sin against you, right? And again, I find, I find the simplicity of that, the, the whole point in studying scripture, right? Um, it's difficult. It's, it's tough, you know, as, as young men, like, oh, I don't want to read, reading, whatever, put it on an audio book, listen to it. You'll, you'll get something out of it. Right, I keep looking away from that camera. <laughs> Sorry, but the whole intent there is spend time in the Word, get to know who God is, get to know who Jesus is, and what He was talking about. Right, the Old Testament lays a foundation for why Jesus was was needed to come and give His life. So if you're looking for how th how that still plays out and what 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 effect what you know, why why it's important today, um, it lays that groundwork. It lays out a history of why it's important. It's it's this incredible story of God uh, interacting with people, <laughs> which He's still doing today, right? Um, here in North America, we, we tend to explain away a lot of the miraculous things around us. It's, it's not really true about the old, you know, the Old Testament. It, it was it was very different time frame and different uh, perspectives, right? So, I mean, the, the stories in there are incredible, but they're, they're these stories of people interacting with God. And learn figure out who God is from those experiences, right? Yeah. There's going to be historical markers. You should probably figure out and learn and ask questions about ask. There's a bunch of us at the church who understand these things, who have studied scripture, who've gone to school for it, whatever you want to learn, come and ask, right? Um, you know, uh, you come across a name, you don't understand. You don't have to say it. I still wrap my tongue around some of those names, right? Bring those up in discussion. You you read something really interesting. You want to talk about the guy who's only referenced for three sentences in you know, the book of Judges, uh, right? Like one weird off character, right? Whatever. We want to talk about that. We like those stories. They're great. <laughs> um, but this is it, right? Study the Bible. It's It's straightforward. And it's, you know... It's difficult to get into. Maybe 
you don't know where to start. Uh, if you, if you honestly, if you're just reading the Bible the first time through, start in the Gospels. Start with what Jesus was saying to the people about life. <sighs> From there, you know, work your way forwards, work your way backwards. Ask questions. Find what's interesting. If you, if you have access to, uh, you know, um, what are they? commentary books right and you want to study them a little more in depth go for it goes you know the you get some somebody who spent years and years and years pouring into what each and every verse and word meant you know come talk to those of us in the church and find out what's a good set of commentaries to read through maybe i don't i'm sure we can help figure those things out together um again if you're not part of a small group and, and you desire to grow in this knowledge and understanding contact somebody let's get you involved let's get you set up with whoever is around seriously this is our bedroom i i'm exhausted i should be going to sleep i gotta get up in a couple hours to work but uh i just i felt the need to do this and i'm making the video like this <laughs> uh, and yes that fan is blowing i i'm hot i always run hot yes it's cold outside i get it i'm not wearing shorts so smart now it is that cold <laughs> um this, this is, it's quick, it's simple, and to the point. Learn scripture, study scripture, get to know who, get to know who this God is that we're worshiping, and, you know, get to know who his chosen people were, and who they are now, right? Learn what it is to be a disciple, learn what it is to follow Christ. Some of that is getting to know who he was where he came from and why it's important stuff fathers that's the sort of stuff you want to teach your kids right young men if you don't know these things now is a good time to learn old men elders take joy in in knowing that there are young men and families who are wanting to learn these things and pray for us as we as we go and teach our kids Right, pray that we are filled with boldness to share and and the readiness and and then the understanding to teach our kids what scripture is about. <sighs> Man, don't be ashamed to ask uh, for for a little help. Right, uh, definitely take the time to learn. Lord, we thank you that we have the ability to study your scripture safely, that we can gather together and we have such great resources uh, at our beck and call, right? That every one of us has this, this incredible supercomputer we call a phone that we can uh, study scripture on, that we can connect and ask questions of each other to grow and learn and understanding. And that's, that's right in our hands daily for most of us. Right. For some of us who spent time learning your, you know, learn, learning your words so we could put them on our hearts so that we wouldn't sin against you. I pray that you would fill us with a desire to follow your, your example, that we would learn how to love each other with the words we speak, with our actions, and that we would learn how to pray for those around us. In Jesus name. Amen. Have a good night. Rest well. See you next week.